candlestick. Oh, this is good. You want to get this? The brothers that was in that camp, in that camp. Candlestick. Candlestick. What the page is called? Uh, candlesticks of Zion. I can't well, when did that just happen? Or something? A long time ago. Uh, that was the brothers that jumped. The brothers that's in that camp. Uh, I wish a motherfucker would. I wish that shit did. I wish that shit did. That'd be a pleasure. That shit would be fun as fuck. Where's your boy Deshaun at? Why are you getting We're that? Cops. Get a scripture. Uh, no. Corinth, First Corinthians six. Oh yeah, if you claim to be a teacher of Israel, you can't be a cop, man. You know he's probably set up. Did you see that dude that came out in the news? Uh, do you know who that police chief Mark Kessler was? Mark. He had this video when he was shooting machine guns, talking about he was shooting liberals. He's like, take that, you liberals and your libtards. So he got famous for this shooting. Uh, guns on YouTube and he claimed to be a patriot and he claimed he was for the second amendment but he just came out that he was actually an informant he was acting like a magnet to attract the patriots to his chase so he could set them up and arrest they had. Oh fuck that's fucked up. That's probably what your boy Nathaniel's doing. Mm, that's fucked up. I mean if he's a cop he's a cop he's gonna try to further his law enforcement career. Mm -hmm. So you can't trust no cop. Oh so you boy Nathaniel he down with Darren Wilson in them. <laughs> He's down with Darren Wilson. That's his brother in arms. What's your, what was the cops up in New York? They, what's that dude's name that got killed up in New York? Uh, uh, big fat dude. Yeah, yeah, big fat dude. What's his name? You know his name, don't you? What's that dude that got killed up in New York? I fucking forgot. I just said it. I can't yeah, even... Said, I, just, I forgot, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, well, yeah, I mean, you know, the cops are fucked up, but that is his punishment. He, he went out there teaching about Israel. Right. Man, that's still fucked up. The cops will just choke you out and kill you. There ain't nothing you can do about it. Take you out. And, it, and they ain't gonna get indicted. Yo, y'all acting surprised when they ain't get indicted. What's his name? Danny Gardner? Yeah, Gardner. Yeah, Gardner. Yeah, I think so, yeah. That's it. Because this, he, was run, he was doing police procedure, which is lawful under police procedure. So the grand jury will look at it in police procedure. So that's why they ain't gonna bring it back no indictment. Yeah, he's he saying say Andy Griffin. He said this ain't Andy Griffin. Well, Andy Griffin, he was the mayor, the judge, and the sheriff. Hey, Barry. He did it all. He was running that shit. Yeah, they, this ain't Andy Griffin. Yeah, Andy Griffin. Yeah, Andy Griffin would come by and help. He come and help your grandma carry the groceries. You know Look at saying? this motherfucker. Man, these cops are beating shit out your grandma. You eat apple pie with yeah, it. Yeah, eat apple pie with it. You see how that motherfucker was running? He was like, Ooh, Ooh, weird, see, this is beautiful, man. Yeah, the Andy Griffin days is long ago. They left this uh, family down in Florida. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw it. I saw it. Yeah. And it was the wrong damn house. Oh, you got that Corinthians? Did you make it there? Yeah, First Corinthians is six and one. That's proof that you can't see that. That tells you that dude Nathaniel seven from Israel United in Christ. He ain't fucking right, and he admitted that he's a cop, and he said all kinds of people in his camp and his church are all cops and part of law enforcement. There ain't no such thing as a good cop. Okay, they're all they're all fucking evil. Every last one of them. Read that. First Corinthians six and one. Cause they're you, on my fault. Cause you brother over here, he just told me. That he was he was trolling the Daniels people all week, fucking with them. Cause they don't know no scriptures. Man, I, done. <laughs> they don't know this scripture. They wouldn't be following that asshole. Read that. First Corinthians six and one. Dare any of you having a matter against another go to law before the unjust. Go to the law before the go to the law means you are gonna sue someone. You are gonna call the cops on somebody. That's what that's talking about. Read that again. 1 Corinthians 6 and 1, dare any of you having a matter against another go to law before the just and not before the saints. And before they say, well, this is the saints. You're supposed to call it, when somebody 
does you wrong, you're supposed to call on the most high. You're not supposed to be calling 911, calling the cops. They get, they get on video and type it, uh, YouTube and type in, this is what happens when you call the cops. Yeah, that, uh, You'll see what happens when you call the cops. You'll call the cops and they'll come and fuck you up. <laughs> you know yeah, what I mean? Remember that time Kevin got shot at our apartment? They yeah. called the cops and the cops threw him on the ground and he was the one that got shot. Yeah, he's the one that got shot and the cops fucked him up. Damn. So fuck the cops, fuck the police. That, guy, that goes with what that was uh, two and ten, get two it. Two and ten. Yeah, bring that out. I yeah. got something for me. Cause you ain't supposed to be going. Yeah, cause that's that's wrong, man. That tells you that dude's off, and then everybody in his organization, his church is off. They're retarded. This is on Isaiah thirty-two and six. A once a cop, always a cop. Cause he's always gonna be looking to get promoted. So he's gonna do whatever it takes to uh, further his law enforcement career. It means being a snitch, getting uh, taking data, getting data on all of you people in his church. You know what I'm saying? He, he uh, creating dossiers on all of y'all. Yep. You know a nigga, nigga do anything to get paid, boy. Yep. Anything to get paid. Yep. I was arguing with these one motherfuckers because they were saying, would you pick cotton for like what, like three hundred fifty an hour? Hell yeah. <laughs> no, you never heard that. Man, but picking cotton used to be a big business after slavery. You never heard that song, that Lead Belly song with the Lead Belly? He got that song, he go, oh Lord, I pick a belly cotton. Oh Lord, I pick a belly. He used to make good money doing that. You know what I mean? He goes, that's six one. I'm sorry. Man, it's different than being a fucking cotton. You actually working for the, cause you could have, you can pick cotton and have your own business. You know what I'm saying? If you working for a fucking cop, working for the government, you going to, so pull, yeah, working. Business right now. You pulling people over, giving them traffic tickets on some bullshit. Like they choked that dude in New York over some taxes because he was selling Lucy's. Wasn't it? He was selling single cigarettes. Lucy's. Yeah, that's what they were saying. Lucy's. Yeah. So they, they killed a motherfucker because he didn't pay taxes. I don't know if they said Lucy's though. Well, yeah, that's what they call they it. They said it on the news Lucy's. today. They, they called them Lucy's. 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 Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Lucy's. That's funny. Um, I say Lucy's. <laughs> I say a 32 and 6. For the vile person will speak villainly and his heart will work iniquity to practice hypocrisy. Oh yeah, so Nathaniel's a hypocrite. And anybody else, all these cops, they're all devils. Fuck the police. Hypocrites. And the woman's the main one to call the police. You know what I mean? I like all these bitches protesting down in Ferguson. And you know, they pro all these women protesting up in New York. Those are the same bitches that call the cops on their baby's daddy. The same bitches that got your lo ass locked up. And now all of a sudden they're crying about the police. Man, fuck you hoes. You hoes ain't shit. They confused. They, they be the main ones leading the protest. They don't know why they out there. They don't. They just. That's why they got to take their medication, man. And still after these protests, they still going to call the cops on their baby's daddy. Still. Still. Still after all this shit don't went down, they still going to do it. Call the cops. They still wake up tomorrow and go down to child support. And oh, that nigga ain't paying his money. Same bitches. Same bitches. They gonna be <laughs> protesting protest. protesting today, calling 911 tomorrow. <laughs> right. Bitches ain't shit, man. Ain't shit. And to utter error against the Lord. To make empty the soul of the hungry, and he will cause the drink of the thirsty to fall, to fail. Yeah, I know y'all don't have a bitches call the cops on you, ain't you? Obvious we all don't have a bitch call the cops on us. Anytime you just raise your voice with a bitch and she'll 911. She got it on speed dial. 911. That happened the time you only gotta be all of them. Got some bass in your voice. They can't Yeah, bro, right, I took a bitch's phone and broke it into a million pieces. Now you can't call 911, bitch. No, I can't wait till that day. You've done it over with. They ain't gonna be able to call 911 at all. Quickly approaching. Dang it. Quickly approaching, man. Right? Here goes the faggot football team. Get him on camera.
that's the football team, basketball, man. Basketball, football. No, they look like football players. I can't even see football. That's why, that's why one of y'all football players dropped dead. They ah, found y'all see that? They found committed dead suicide. In a man, how you gonna, in a how, in a how you gonna commit suicide and be in a dumpster? That don't, make no, that don't make no sense. He shot himself and jumped in the dumpster? Yeah, that's right, you know. Who commits suicide in the dumpster? I'm wondering. Yeah, that, that's a very unique I mean, come on, they threw his ass away trying to cover up the evidence. Uh-huh. Same but, was going but on. Ohio right? State got fucked up this week. Your boy Barrett broke his goddamn ankle. Man, one one of y'all motherfuckers too. dropped dead. Yeah, Barrett was, he was up for the Heisman. Well, now where is he at now? He's a bad motherfucker. He was better than the other one. Oh, he was way better. Yeah, he's better than the other one. Actually, he wasn't even a star. I actually think he was the best quarterback they ever had. They said their quarterback coming in is just as good as Barrett. No, he ain't as good as Barrett. They fuck him, though. So we put curses on Ohio State. He was goddamn about no football. That's right. That's right. We're destroying their gods. Yeah, that's their gods. Oh, they, that's their fallen god, Barrett. He, He's a Nephilim. He's fallen. <laughs> he has fallen. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Let me get <laughs> you boy the Nephilim. I swear, man. I, Sunday is like a holiday, man. That, that game for more. That's what I'm saying. That's why another reason why there'll never be riots. If there's going to be a riot in Columbus, Ohio, it, it can't be on the weekend. There's too much football going on. It can't be during football season. Yeah, it can't be during football season at all. It gotta be during like baseball the, the season. summertime or something. Yeah, it gotta be in the summertime after the NBA finals is over. That's all they care about in the city of sports. That's all. That's it, man. That's it. This whole city revolves around Ohio State football. If I yell out OH right now, I'll get a IO right back. You hear from blocks away. Yeah, yeah, from blocks away. I could yet. Don't make me do it. I'll show. I'll prove it. <laughs> no, please don't. No, I'm not doing it. That should be giving me headaches. Yeah. But Every I time I hear it, I say F you after they say O H. Because we did it before, remember? Yeah. And they was over there screaming that shit. Yeah, they'll scream it right back at you. Yeah. Quick, too. Hold on. This is. Um, who's that? <laughs> Crazy motherfucker. They, oh yeah, the only back. time there was ever a riot here that I can remember, I know they had riots way back when. But once Ohio State football team, I think they won a championship or something, or won, or somebody lost, or something happened, and they tore up the whole goddamn high street. Car, cars on fire. That was like in the 2000s, mid 2000s maybe. Yeah, they fucked up the whole, burnt cars on fire. Just, just crazy drunk. That was when your homie Belisari was the quarterback. Oh, was it? Was it when they lost or won? They lost. Because they'll burn shit up when they win. I think they lost to Penn State or something. Motherfuckers lost their goddamn mind and caught shit on fire over a football game. Uh, he's wearing a bow tie. Hey, hey. You lost. Seriously? Yeah. Oh, what, what's, what's up, your boy Louis Farrakhan wearing a bow tie? Louis Farrakhan said about a white man. He's trying to get black people killed right now. See that? That's some bad shit though. That's man. what he's doing. Yeah. He's telling them you gotta fight. He said, tell them you oh, gotta I teach your baby to throw the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> you see that? <laughs> oh man. Because right now, Louis Farrakhan teaches Scientology. And Scientology was created by L. Ron Hubbard, the author of the book called Dianetics. He's the father of Scientology. He is also a disciple or a disciple of Aleister Crowley. A devil worshiper. So essentially, Louis Farrakhan worships the devil. And he's teaching uh, devil worship. His old ass ain't gonna fight. You gonna see Louis Farrakhan's old ass out there fighting? Hell, he get fucked up. They can delete my fucking message. He, he, he too, he too pretty. Yeah. He too pretty I, out there. How he fucking the nation is on, dude? They ain't got no knowledge. They, they easy to destroy. None. They sound like fools. Cause all you gotta do, just the hell with everything else. Ask him why is he teaching Scientology. <laughs> so y'all watching this video, you need to go like on Louis Farrakhan's Twitter page, cause he got his own Twitter. Just troll the shit out of his Twitter and ask him why is he teaching Scientology. And all of his goons will come out the woodworks and try to uh, try to defend it. 
They'll be like, why are you worried about who created Scientology? <laughs> Just worry about what it does for your people. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. That's what they'll say. Yeah, because one of them said to me, because Scientology does have some good points. They'll say, you can't, you can't uh, debunk the science behind it. Man, I, man, I got Dianetics at the house. It's a bunch of garbage. It's gibberish. You know, so that's something I read when I'm taking a shit and I'm, I'm feeling a little constipated. Right, right. You read right. some Dianetics. That'll clear your bowels out real quick. <laughs> real quick. Quit reading that shit, man. Oh, shit. Dianetics, that sound like a, uh, yeah. <laughs> a bowel movement cleanser. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> hey, that's some bullshit. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That's right. Here you go, Isaiah 5 and 13. Therefore, my people are going into captivity because they have no knowledge. Oh, that's no knowledge. When you actually, when you got a person like Louis Farrakhan tricking your ass into following Scientology, a doctrine of devils created by an actual devil worshiper, that just proves that you're stupid and you got no knowledge. That's what I'm, you Nation of Islam people are a joke, man. Anybody calling himself a Muslim, period, you a joke. We, must, we make jokes about it. We just laugh at you. You got no... Not, I have never now once ever seen a Muslim come up here and make a good argument. None, never. I ain't okay. never even heard a Muslim make a good argument. They don't know nothing. They avoid the, 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 the us, man. All yeah, they, don't, they don't even fuck with us. Everywhere. All over the country, man. The nation is not avoid the brothers, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I seen a clip the other day. The ones from... Um, was up in Dallas and, uh, Detroit, Detroit, that's yeah. right, that was it, Detroit. Up in Detroit, uh, Detroit, Detroit. Talking about Detroit, I bet they having fun up there. Cause Detroit got fucked up. You see all their lights got shut down? Oh, the police stations and shit. So that's like living in a third world country up there. Proverbs 15 and two. The tongue of the wise uses knowledge of right. But the mouth of fools pours out foolishness. It ain't easy to pick out. It ain't hard to pick out a fool. Or you just listen to them. <laughs> you know their work their, in their mouths bears their wit bears witness for them. Not damn fool. Yeah, you got isn't more. Uh, what was you reading in Isaiah? Oh, I'm more than Oh, uh, well, whatever you got. <laughs> I'm transformed into Jeremiah. Oh shit, we got on track too. We never got Revelation 2 and 10. Oh, we forgot about Nathaniel. We got off track. Nathaniel thought he got away. <laughs> yeah, because that dude, he got a big church, don't he? Man, he got, I just seen something on YouTube where he just opened up some school down in uh, North Carolina. And he looked just like, it was set up like those telemarketing shits. Yeah. And if you see late night, it looked. It he all on the camera smiling yeah, like, come on down. He ain't no better than T.D. Jakes. Like schools. I'm like, you're like one of those fucking telemarketing advertisers. And then they all, late like, night. Like, that's the purple people eaters. The purple, doing yeah. Job, <laughs> they start doing his job. They're going to kill us, kill him or kill his wife and kids. Yeah, he's neck, he's neck deep in it now. Yep. And they're going to eventually get him because this, this is the most hot program. Yeah, he's neck deep in it now. We're going to make a public example out of that. Too. Revelation 2 and 10. Fear none of these things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. That's talking about the cops. And Nathaniel Seven, he's a cop. So you gonna tell me he's a cop and he don't never lock nobody up, right? Shit. Now you get the fuck out of here. That's all they do. Locking people up, arresting you for warrants. You know what I'm saying? They showing up to domestic violence calls. You know, he coming through like a captain save a hoe to save a hoe. Man, he the devil. That's true. But that goes, like they're at least whooping stick and keeping the rest. Hey, read that again. All these cops are devils. Um, Revelation 2 and 10. Excuse me. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. Yeah, when this was read, that was written by John on the Isle of Patmos. Why? He was in prison when he wrote it. And he was telling y'all, you got to be careful. When, this is really talking to us, though. It really is talking about when you out here doing this work, you might get locked up. You know what I mean? Because he got locked up. He got locked up by the Romans. He was calling the Roman Empire the devil. That's who he's talking about. 
So the modern day Roman Empire is America. This is they're, they're, they're the devils. That's why them cops they sport that eagle. They got that eagle on their badge. That eagle goes back to Jupiter, Zeus. That's their god. Just like the Roman Empire. Yeah. That ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. That's why the only thing a cop does anyway is generate revenue. The whole purpose of a cop is to protect the interests of the elite, go around and rob everybody for their money. Okay, they gotta meet that quota. All right, they gotta meet a quota. That dude got an actual quota. Nathaniel said it was the devil. He's locking people up in prison. He's even the same. That's even worse. He showed himself worthy. Yeah, he's that promotion. Right. It, it can't everybody be a detective. Most people just passing out tickets. You know, the little low lowlifes, the little bums on the force. <laughs> you a detective, that you mean you done you done yeah, you done proved yourself worthy to the devil. He done shown that you got you in it to win it. You gotta do some dirty shit to become a detective. He's a traitor. He has committed treason. Can you turn that bullshit down? They, they, they listen to some faggot shit. That's some terrible shit. I got scripture. Uh, hey, guy. That's that right. Yep. Hey, guy. One in six. Ye have so much and bring in little. Ye eat, but ye have not enough. Ye drink, but ye are not filled with drink. Ye clothe you, but there is none warm. Mm. And he that earneth wages earneth wages to put it into a bag with holes. Oh, that's us. <laughs> yeah. All that shit they doing is a waste. Well, what he's doing too, though, because we'll go, we'll go work hard all day. We bust our ass. You go to work every day. You paying taxes. You're already paying. Then a fucking cop comes through, pulls you over, and gives you a ticket. You gotta go to court and you pay thousands of dollars for some bullshit. And you got a hole in your pocket living out here. Right think you think you got up? Oh, I got, I got a hundred extra dollars this week. No, you don't. They go. The devil's gonna come swoop through and take it. He gonna take that shit, man. And he ain't, he can't have his feel. He gotta have more and more. He can never have enough. Not they they gonna take taxes out on you. Now you gotta pay taxes. You gotta pay motherfucking insurance. You gotta pay uh, for your tax. There's even a tax on gasoline. There's a tax on every fucking thing you buy. That's not enough. I heard Barack Obama, he was saying he wants to raise the tax on gasoline. <laughs> and, don't, and people think, don't get happy because the gas prices is low right now. The only reason they doing that is to fuck with the Russians. They, they, they're, trying to, uh, they're trying to destroy the Russians' economy right now. That's the only reason gas prices is low. People be like, oh, Barack Obama doing good. Gas is low. <laughs> Yeah, as soon, as soon as they, you know, they, they plan is to put Russia into a depression. And after that, then gas is going to be $10 a gallon. <laughs> and the gas still ain't cheap. When I was in high school, that shit was 99 cents. Yeah, this, this, is, a, this is a worldwide thing. Mm -hmm. It's worldwide. Because OPEC started to pour force the U.S. out, out the market. And they're pushing out more and more. Well, it's, re it's really the Queen of England that's doing that shit. You know, they, the Queen of England owns BP. British Petroleum, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, the okay, OPEC, um, I watch it all the time. Yeah. The, um, yeah, the, actually, MSNBC had a documentary on it a few days ago, man. And uh, they were talking about the demand is less, but the production's high. So that's lowering the price. And they're doing it on purpose. They're doing it intentionally. Like I said, they're trying to force the U.S. out of the market. The whole fucking world's tired of the U.S. bullshit. 
So they're forcing this, they're forcing them out, they're trying to force them out the market by pushing so much out. The U.S. has to keep their prices low too. Uh, if they yeah. lower their prices, the U.S. has to lower their they prices too. Right. They and the back. same thing with Russia doing too. That to it's Russia. the same fucking well, that shit. That goes back to the Queen of England and the Jews. Y'all go back to the Jews. What's that one She a Jew. Ed Bush. Ed Bush. The one that's gonna run for president. Jeb. Jeb Bush. Bush. New, yeah. The new one on the scene. He said that. Oh, uh, hey, governor? the governor of Florida. Florida yeah. yeah. He said that uh, the allies don't trust him. Enemies don't care. That's good. That's good. Yeah, when I see that, it was posted. Like, Brandon, don't believe nothing. He those said. News clips. They're fucking Jew worshippers. Oh, yeah, I believe, I believe with uh, as far as that uh, the allies don't trust them, the enemies don't fear them no more. So they try to make it look like they against Obama and all that. They all together, man. George Bush and uh, Barack Obama is doing the same goddamn thing. He got a book bag, but all of his books are in his hand. <laughs> no, they still have books. We speak right now. First time I've seen books on this campus in a long time. Uh, what are you talking about? Uh, uh, that's it. America, a skirt. That skirt is lifted up now. Oh, yeah, that's a, yeah, that's a Jeremiah. They're gonna get raped. The skirt has been lifted up. Oh, here, here you go. This, it was a six person. How are the things of Esau searched out? How are his hidden things sought up? Oh, yeah, that's why you got all these Illuminati videos on YouTube. Everybody exposing the Illuminati. Everybody knows who the Rothschilds are now. And everybody hate, and everybody's talking shit about you, so-called Jews. Everybody hates you, motherfuckers, yeah. man. Everybody hates everybody. you. That is the so-called Judas behind this, uh, this, behind all this shit. Yeah, it's the Wizard of Oz. Behind that curtain. Yeah. 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 You know? I seen it when he said that movie. He actually repeated it twice. He repeated it before well, that movie, was made, that movie was made by a Jew. Mm -hmm. Shit. Here it is right here, what you're talking about. The seventh book. All the men of thy confederacy have brought thee even to the border. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee and prevailed against thee. They that eat thy bread have laid a wound under thee. There is none understanding thee. That's pretty much how these devils they think they got a fucking friend, but they ain't Well, I mean, America used to be respected and loved across the world. Feared. They used to be feared, <laughs> but people used feared. to love it. They used to look up to America. Yeah, the gold, they look at, what they say over there? The street of hey, milk and honey or whatever? Now they say, fuck America. <laughs> fucking got a D minus in this fucking, uh, uh, They say that this was like America was like the, I forget what the rank, they had the most, the list of the most freest countries. America was way down low on the list. The number one freest country was Finland. And we, and America was like 25 or something. Finland, straight up? Yeah. Well, look what they, what, where you gotta be worried about Finland? Finland. South Park, New Finland. Really? That's messed up. That's where, uh, that's where uh, <laughs> Linus Torvalds is from. The dude that made Linux. Straight up? Yeah. Wow. Well, I got love for Finland. Yeah, right. You gotta get the love. Dude, we ain't got no Linux, boy. We be fucked up. That's a blessing, man. That's straight up a blessing. Both sides looking out, man. Linux, man. Yeah, you know they shouldn't have come out of America. I can't think of too many of them top computer programs from America. There ain't too many of them, I don't think. The motherfuckers that created the C, I think they was Irish or something. Oh, yeah. Oh, we got Bill Gates back. You know Bill Gates, he, you know, he just stole. He didn't create the Microsoft Windows. He just bought it from somebody. Ripped them off. 
The DOS. They got you should watch the documentary on that shit, man. Got a movie coming out about his fucking thing. Yeah, I saw the one about that retard. He's just a swimmer. He's just a swimmer. Yeah. That one with the retard that Hawkins did. Oh yeah, Stephen Hawkins. He's not Stephen Hawkins is a goddamn vegetable. He's brain dead. Yeah, most half. No, he no that. No, that's not really him talking on that computer. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Come on, bro. He's got that Lou Gehrig's disease. He ain't nobody living that long with Lou Gehrig's disease. Dude, he's like, he's a Jew's puppet. Oh, he got a Jew behind him programming that computer. You know, like you, I think you were going to say that one time. Somebody behind the scenes yes. doing that. That's why it's all, it's all Hollywood. Mm -hmm. He's always on TV. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because he's fucked up. Man, you ain't, ain't going to sit there with a twitch in your eye talking like that. <laughs> he be slobbering and everything. Yeah, just drooling. Yeah, Come on, he's man. He's brain dead, dude. Yeah, he's, he's a vegetable. I used to believe that. Because they said back before he was all fucked up he's a vegetable. that he used to uh, come out talking shit about Einstein. <laughs> you know, Einstein was a fraud. Einstein did. Even even Tesla said that uh, he was a piece of shit. That the, the greatest scientist of all time was Nikola Tesla. He's the one who brought us the, the electricity in your houses. Gave you the radio. He get my vote. He's an Israelite too. He hated Jews too. He gets my vote. You know, Tesla is famous. He said, never trust a Jew. That's how he made sure that Israelite ended up broke. Yeah. They fucked his fucking You were talking about somebody uh, familiar with grief. That man was homeless. He was homeless. This was after his patents and... The inventions that came out and everything. He there was periods of time man was man. Yep. And he said he got all of his knowledge through visions and dreams. That sound like in Israel. That's what people always try to say. You can't use the Bible. We in the that Bible's outdated. That's a what do they call it? A bronze bronze a bronze age sheep herder book. <laughs> do they? Yeah. What 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 Nikola Tesla believed in the Bible? What what have you done? As good as Nikola Tesla. Motherfucker, did you put electricity in my house? You know what I'm saying? What's up, homie? You know who Nikola Tesla is? You don't know. Hey, yeah, most people, when you say, when you think of somebody as being a genius, you'll call him an Einstein, right? Einstein. They know, everybody knows who Einstein is. He, first of all, Einstein was a so-called Jew, a devil. So you know he's a liar. Get uh get uh first John two and twenty-two. Alright, Einstein. Yeah, they like, alright, Einstein. Cause E equals MC squared. If like <laughs> Einstein is is like the they consider him to be the smartest man to ever live. Only reason is because he's a so-called Jew. Einstein was a fraud. He worked at the patent office. Where do you think he got all those ideas from? He worked at the fucking patent office. He was stealing patents. Jack and shit. I mean, I mean, it don't take a, it don't take a Einstein to figure this out. <laughs> but, but yeah, everybody knows who Einstein is. Don't nobody know who Tesla is. They don't know shit about Tesla. And that dude is the most, the most amazing scientist that ever lived, an inventor. And as Tesla was going to give the world free electricity, they shut that shit down. He actually came up with a way to give everybody free electricity. And we could just pull our electricity out the air. It sounds dangerous, actually. No, it was not dangerous. He used to sit and play with electricity. How do you think they did it back in Egyptian days? He just get yeah. struck by lightning at any time. Well, he had he got ways to control it. You know what I mean? That's how Israel did it back she when they was building it, temples. Yep. Those uh, pyramids and shit. Every, the energy was drawn out of the air. Read first. Well, electricity's in the air. Then they say Benjamin Franklin discovered electricity. That's how your body's run on electricity. Electric. Oh, they tell you that. Current. They show you that in the Matrix. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, read that. First John two and twenty-two. First John two and twenty-two. Who is a liar? Who is a liar? But he that denieth that Yahweh Shai is the Christ, he is antichrist. That's the so-called Jews over in the state of Israel. They're all liars. Okay, the so-called Jews, the biggest devil on the face of the earth. Read that again. First John 2 and 22. Who is a liar, but he that denieth that Yahweh is 
the Christ, he is Antichrist. Yeah, of course, the so-called Jew over there, first of all, they're not real Jews, they're not Israelites, they're Edomites. But they say the one you call Jesus Christ is forever burning in a, a cauldron of human shit. Yeah, they, they, they try to say Mary was a whore raped by a Roman soldier. Look, we got a sign right here. In the, in the so-called Jews holy book, where's that one right here? They, they got a scripture in that holy book, the Talmud, because the Jew don't follow the Bible, they follow the Talmud. And there's a scripture in the Talmud that says, kill the goyim by any means possible. So hey, they just want to kill all of you. you get, uh, what you got? Yeah, keep going. Read, read more of that. Keep going. He is Antichrist that denieth the Father and the Son. So if you, if you deny the Father and the Son, you're an Antichrist. You're the devil, and you're gonna be destroyed. Keep on. Whosoever denieth the Son, the same has not the Father. So the, the so-called Jews, they're all, they all denieth the Father and the Son. Keep on. And they're, they're, they worship the devil. Keep on. But he that acknowledge the Son has the Father also. Yep, so if you deny the Son of the Most High, the Father denies you. Keep going. Let that therefore abide in you, which ye have heard from the beginning. From the beginning, all the way back in the Garden of Eden. Keep going. If that which ye have heard from the beginning shall remain in you, ye also shall continue in the Son and in the Father. All right, keep going. And this is the promise that he hath promised us, even eternal life. These things have I written unto you concerning them that seduce you. Oh, you got all kind of seducer spirits out here. The main seducer is the so-called Jew. He seduces you with all of his evil, all this garbage Hollywood movies. The, you know Hollywood is controlled by the Jews. Okay, the music industry is controlled by the so-called Jew. Same with the media, CNN is owned by a fucking Jew. So they, but they seduce you, and then they put a spell on you, and they brainwash you with all, with all that media and music. Keep going. But the anointing which ye have received of him abideth in you. Oh, like back to the scientists. It's a so-called Jew. They try to act like they're the smartest people on earth. That's why they say Einstein was a great scientist. He was a fucking Jew. Sigmund Freud was a fucking Jew. And they're all frost. Sigmund Freud is a cokehead. Albert Einstein is a thief. And then they make these TV shows about uh, your boy Stephen Hawking. And if you believe Stephen Hawking's actually talking with that computer, you're just stupid. That's all I can say. <laughs> I mean, we just think about it. Uh, they, uh, like a yeah, it sounds like a robot. Come on, man, he got Luke Gary's disease. He's out of there. Hey, your gloves cool this time, mate. You don't make it for your hands long enough. Oh, yeah, Gene. Come on, hold this for a minute. Yeah. And they got, they got, all right, plus, they got, they got the new boy software now. Look at that camera right there. That's still going? Yeah. So they got the new software now where it actually sounds like a human voice. You can get a British uh, uh, computer voice and sound like a British guy talking. It, it almost sounds real. But they still got Stephen Hawking using his old ass 1980s computer voice. Because it adds an extra layer of uh, drama and dramatics to it. You know what I mean? Some bullshit, man. That's just a so-called Jew fucking with you. That's what the devil does. Hey, he's a, he's a magician, a sorcerer. A goddamn wizard. And the Bible said wizards are gonna be put to death. <laughs> I hate the motherfuckers. Chinese, Chinese. Old mama son bitch running. Mama son gotta stay in shape too, man. First Corinthians three and eighteen. Let no man deceive himself. If any man among you seemeth to be wise in this world, let him become a fool. Right, yeah. Hey, everybody always talking about science. That's what they always say. They always 
go back to science. We'll be teaching the Bible. It's like that's outdated. It's Bronze Age, written by Bronze Age sheep herders. And then they'll say, we're supposed to believe in science. Well, then I'll ask them, uh, what science, scientific experiments have you conducted? And they'll look at me like I'm stupid. Why, well, you're a scientist, ain't you? Where's your inventions? Where, you know what I'm saying? They should have some inventions or something. They're like great scientists. And they believe in science. Motherfuckers are stupid. Let him become a fool that he may be wise. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. For it is written, he taketh the wise in their own crafty. Well, right, see? That's why, because Nik Nikola Tesla, the greatest scientist ever, he believed in his Bible. And that's the reason the Lord gave him all that knowledge. You know what I'm saying? Just like when Solomon had that dream and he prayed to the Most High. He, when he prayed to the Most he, he didn't ask for riches. He asked for knowledge. You know what I'm saying? So the, Lord, the Lord gave him knowledge plus riches. Even Isaac Newton. Isaac Newton, they, they consider him one of the greatest scientists ever. He, he wrote whole books breaking Bible scriptures down. He believed in the Bible 100%. He invented fucking calculus. You people up here talking that science shit, can you do calculus? No, you can't, you're stupid. You know what I'm saying? They'll come up here talking, oh, we gotta believe in science. Like, write, write, write me up an equation real quick, you know what I'm saying? Let's have an equation battle. Y'all want to do that? Keep going. People are full of shit. No, okay. They talking about they believe in science, but you don't know a goddamn thing about science. A bunch of dumbasses. People just need punch in the face with a uh, with a brick. You need to have a damn uh, anvil dropped on your head like fucking Looney Tunes. Shall I not in that day, said the Lord, even destroy the wise men out of Edom and the understanding of the, out of the house? I mean, the wise of Edom is right here up in this piece of shit college right here. Ain't no wisdom up in there. Plus, you find out a lot of these uh, professors and stuff, they've been going to college for, uh, they've been teaching to these colleges for 30, 40 years. A lot of them, they're part of secret societies. They worship all these ancient pagan gods. They did, they, when they're on their off time, they dressing up in robes and shit, sacrificing children and shit. Ain't that what they do? We got proof of them, Bohemian, Bohemian Grove. Y'all know about Bohemian Grove? There's a, there's a thousand videos about it on YouTube, man. Well, as I still don't watch it, but it's just so in depth of it. But you hear them, in the background. Yeah, they say, they pray them yeah, ancient yeah, chants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah. Say something. Like, don't it though? Yeah. Don't it? And that's all they wise men out there. Mm -hmm. While in the public, they'll tell you, oh, we just believe in science, but in secret, they worship the devil mm -hmm. and they drink children's blood. In their dark rooms with no windows in, they're humming and doing whatever. Breaking little children in. Where's Paul go? I don't know. He just sent me right back. Oh, he had to go take his Committing shit. Committing acts of cannibalism. Yeah, they're cannibals. They're don't actual think cannibals. this shit is far fucking out. Reach. This is America. That shit don't... It, this is America. That shit can't... Well, it's just like that, that story yeah. years ago. You know, Alex Jones, they caught... They caught somebody. They actually caught people smuggling chocolate-covered babies wrapped right. in gold foil. That's right. And it, I mean, it's expensive too. That's right. <laughs> now, who can buy that shit but a fucking Jew? And they gonna eat right, it too. That's exactly. right. Only a Jew can buy that type of expensive shit. Oh, but I had a, I had a dream last night. I had a dream. We're gonna talk about some dreams. I had a dream last night. I went up into a synagogue and I cursed that whole goddamn synagogue out. Oh. You know how you had a dream? You that's can't, a dream. you can't get a scripture out as hard sometimes. Oh. Man. But I just started yelling the scripture. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't even try to get it. Oh, that's kind of funny how that's how the spirit works. The spirit is making you be spiritual. I just, I, I just, of riding on the, you know. But look, I was up yeah. in the synagogue and I just started yelling, Revelation 2 and 9. <laughs> and they looked at me like, <laughs> they started rushing. That's funny how you said that, man. How you saying that? I did the same thing always happened to me. I had a dream not too long ago. I was in line at the, 
or the uh, Arab carry out, and motherfuckers are scanning. They beer getting scammed. Yeah. And they took it. You ain't got yours. Uh, you ain't got yours. Turn around, happy as shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to scream out the scripture and read the. I'm actually trying to focus on the scripture, but I can't. Oh my god, that's some bad shit. Look, after after they did that. I yelled it, I brought it. <laughs> yeah, I started yelling at Esau. Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. just started yelling. Right. They was all yelling at me. I was like, it was me against like a thousand devils. <laughs> I, I feel sometimes in your dreams, you actually going up against those, those are real spirits you're going up That's against. Right. Yeah. Get them too long. Get and, them. and one of them came and grabbed me. And he started, he grabbed me, but he knew he couldn't do nothing to me for some reason. He started digging his nails into me. Man. And I just, I got out of there. And I don't know what, uh, that's just crazy. I had a crazy dream like yeah, that. That's probably just a vision of something you didn't go through. Well, we, I curse some devils out, man. Which I pray we do, man. Because that's the action we've been looking for, man. We're looking for some action. We and we should, some shit out of some We rats. should go up on Bexley. It's like, nah, we we'll go to jail. Go up on Bexley, bum rush a the synagogue. They got synagogues all through that motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. do. Just go up in there. I had a couple of dudes that way. Wall Street. Yeah, Broad Street, right? Yeah. There's, there's one on Broad, one on Main. There's two, man, there's like four on Main. Yeah. Uh, college I have between um, Livingston and yeah, College. Right. College Ave is a living room. There's one over all. Oh. Jew School. Yeah, that right College there. Ave's off on the. I always forget about that street. College that goes yeah. through. You go to 33 years. What's that college right there in, in Bexley? That's on Main Street. Columbia? Uh, I can't remember, but that college street goes right through it. Oh, it does? Yeah. It goes straight through it. That's a Jew area. That's a rat area. They try and hide in the midst of the, right there in the middle of the jail. They come, they, you don't see, they yeah, come out. Mm -hmm. I noticed uh, right, right, right. Nine, a couple rats, not even five minutes up the street. That's so you know, it gets real, it gets real ghetto. That's the one I had that dream too. They, all, it was all dirty. They like the clothes was all dirty, they smelly. They had the doo-doo curls coming down. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. When I, when I had this boo over there with one of those motherfucking Jewish motherfuckers, oh, they man. nice as hell. But they was they, they was filthy as fuck. Oh he goes back to that, was that 13th tribe? That book the 13th oh let me talk to you. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> 13 tribes. I mean this the group friend was laid out, but they was filthy as shit. That's how they do it, that's how they get down, they nasty. Esau is nasty, okay? When you're dealing with Satan, you fall in a, a truck. <laughs> Satan likes to get down and nasty. If you want to follow Satan, you guys to be nasty. You got to be dirty. You know what I'm saying? You got to eat shit. You got to uh, molest children. You know, you do all the foulest things you can think. You got to get a couple of STDs. You get, being down with Satan ain't easy. I mean, you, well, it is for a devil. But you got to go do some nasty shit to be down with Satan. Satan require you to get to do some evil shit. That's why they had those uh them chocolate the chocolate covered babies wrap them gold foil. <laughs> Let me check this out. Check this out. This is a Eden Finland said this is the book of the 13 tribe. The fastidious air like neither the climate nor the people of uh what was it Zim. That's just another Well yeah, this book is a, called the 13 tribe. Who's that right by Arthur Kessler or something? It, it's written by a Jew, ain't it? And he's telling you this is their custom. Mm -hmm. And this book proves they're not Israelites. They're actually Edomites. Yep. That's why it's called the 13th tribe, making fun of them, saying they're not one of the tribes. Yep. Uh, keep going. Check this out. They are, in respect of their language and constitution, the most repulsive of men. The, they're the most repulsive. Their language is like the chatter of sternums. Yeah, that Yiddish shit they be speaking, they just, that's just the most heathenistic language you could ever imagine in some goddamn Yiddish. Check this out. Sound like Satan himself speaking. <laughs> right. At a day's journey, there is a village called or Ortqua, whose inhabitants are called Cardals. Their language sounds entirely like the croaking of frogs. <laughs> 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 they do, don't and they? And a frog is an unclean animal. Yep. You read in Revelation. A it's reptile. A, yeah. It's an unclean animal. Mm-hmm. The, said it. The, sexual, <laughs> the sexual moors of the Guhus and other tribes, that's just another tribe that they named the Yeah, they got tribes within tribes. Right. 
and other tribes were a remarkable mixture of liberalism and savagery. Savage, they're savages. Mm -hmm. The Esau's a savage, not just the Jews too. He's got other white people too that's eating whites too. They're all savages. Their women wear no veils in the presence of their men or strangers, nor do the women cover any parts of their bodies in the presence of people. One day we stayed at the place of the hoods and were sitting around. His wife was also present. As we conversed, the woman uncovered her private parts and scratched them. Oh. And we all saw it. Hold on, hold on, let this bus go by. That's she had license. Hold on, this bus fucking, I got, we gotta get this clear. Well, it's not bad. You give a No, but read it again, though. I read it again. There's more to it, too. I read it. Straight shame, this right there. Yeah. That's funky as hell. Yeah. I'm going to start. Their women wore no veils in the presence of their men or strangers, nor do the women cover any parts of their bodies in the presence of people. One day, we stayed at the place of the doves and were sitting around him. His wife was also present. As we conversed, the woman uncovered her private parts and scratched them, <laughs> and we all saw it. <laughs> <laughs> Thereupon we covered our faces and said, "My God, forgive me." Because you know, honestly, you, you don't your conscience, like, man, I don't want to see. Right, what the like, fuck man, is this? Like, right, right. Yeah, you like, know, she's uh, ugly as hell too. That, you know, that's the author that that's saying. Yeah, yeah. And, he, author. and he's a Jew too. Because he had the most. He was traveling with a few of them. He was traveling a long time with his travel. Yeah, it, it was like he. It sounded like he don't want to. with the spirit in him, you know, to do that, man, you know? Because he, how oh, he's breaking that down, it sounds like he, he's like, they're uh, <laughs> from a totally different yeah, race. Right, 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 right. Well, probably Jake right there. That's what I'm saying, how he's yeah. saying, like, he's saying, like, he ain't a part of that. Yeah. Because some of them, some of them Jews, even though, even though we call them Jews a bunch of devils, I, you still got some of our people scattered yeah, among scattered them. Scattered among them. Okay. Thereupon we covered our faces and said, My God, forgive me. The husband laughed and said, 